What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. So it's been once again a while since I produced a video and I'm just going to keep saying that every time it feels like I'm getting worse and worse at producing content, but I'm trying to get better. So please uh, deal with me as I'm getting better at it. But uh, once again, a lot of things have changed since the last video. It's been a busy, busy, busy last like five months. I went down to Arizona, worked there for a little bit, decided it wasn't my cup of tea. So I'm now back in Colorado, back in Denver, and I am super happy with the decision. Phoenix is cool, wasn't for me. I got that 5.0, you all remember that. And uh, I wanna go upstairs outside with the car, kinda talk through my thought process. And so, oh, here we go. Boom, there she is. So, there she is, the wonderful 5.0 I've always wanted so bad. Um. And I'm confident to say that I'm not very happy with it. Um, there's lots of good, there's, don't get me wrong, the car's a great car. But here is my thought process. So, this is a 2014 Mustang GT. I bought it down in Phoenix, Arizona, or for what I think is a good deal, which I will talk about in the following video. And as you can see, it's kind of a, it's fallen short. I, it's not hard to tell that I haven't, washed the car in quite some time and just kind of fell out of care for the car if that makes sense the three valve that i sold for this car was a 2006 mustang gt it was red and once again like every car had its fair share of problems however it had 49,000 miles when i bought it one of the lowest three valves i've seen and i got it for just under 10 grand on the dot so no, no special taxes or fees or anything like that. 9,800 bucks, I was out of there with a the car. A clean three valve, clean title, clean everything, manual transmission, premium, shaker 1000 and everything. With 49,000 miles for just under 10 grand. And that was a, not, it was a screaming deal. And uh, I got this 5.0, I sold that and bought this 5.0 about halfway, I put in a little bit and uh, sold the car and it, it almost paid itself. It was super good deal, that's why I got this car. But uh, this car, however, is a 2014 Mustang GT. Now it has 118,000 miles. So obviously substantially more miles than the three valve. And uh, I, I enjoy the car, it's fun, it's fast. I mean, just look at the body lines, it's sexy. But the three valve, for the money, that these 5.0s are going for. I see people selling these 5.0s, 2014s. I saw a twin turbo 5.0 the other day, listed for 60 grand. It was twin turbo with 30,000 miles. Compared to the three valve, I've been driving it for a while. Compared to the three valve, there is not much difference. Um, you can get a clean three valve for 9,800 bucks. I did it and I will do it again someday. But for the difference that these cars are, it's not that much uh, better than the three valve. And I will stand by that. I love this car. I genuinely do, and I'm not getting rid of it. In fact, I have plans to uh, modify it someday. Which, speaking of, what do you guys think I should do first? Obviously, the paint is uh, a little worse in the front. I discussed that in my last video. It's hard to tell on camera, but trust me, it is. The car, I think it is money well spent. However, you can get a clean three valve for 9,800 bucks. And for that extra five grand, you can build as much power as one of these cars and a uh, possibility of more. Five O's do make more power than three valves for less money. Despite being more expensive cars, that is one upside they have. So I think I want to try to do full bolt-on. I've seen people run uh, 12s full bolt-on. So I want to try to do that. People in the local area have done it and can help me out with it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great car. I do regret selling the three valve. The three valve was stupid clean. This needs lots of work, and uh, that's my that's my opinion on the five o versus the three valve. The three valve is just as good as the five o. Just depends what you're looking for, and I will stand by that. That's my one explanation. If you guys remember, I made a video previously a while ago called five o versus three valve, which is better. And today, after owning both, I agree they're equally as good. And then I got more news. I picked up a new truck. And unfortunately, it's not here. I bought it five days or so ago, and it is already, it was parked there before I left, and now it's at the shop. Uh, it's a long story. I'll explain it when I get the truck back. However, I think you guys will be very happy with this truck. It is a nicer truck than the second gen, and it's gonna be a cool daily driver project, you know. 
I'm gonna work out of it, so I'm gonna build it into somewhat of a work rig. With that, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't. I'm gonna be producing some videos um, more often, if that makes sense. Like the video, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.